What is up guys? I'm back. Today I'm going to be checking out a new game called Alia? Polia? Recommended to me by the one and only the Cran Man. I thought I'd give it a try as well. Uh, when I've, oh, so far all I've done is created my character. And I should begin at the very beginning of the story, so let's see what happens. Yeah, let me move this thing, otherwise it just feels awkward in the middle of the screen. Giant robots. <laughs> it's me. another isekai ever feel like there aren't enough hours in the day oh my dragon did did you just materialize from nowhere I honestly have no idea more like from a spiraling pink void no oh, it matches my clothes no oh, she's pink too not sure but I'm glad to be here well I'm here aren't I Jeez, my dude is just... No chill. I just realized each of those had... Oh, that's right. This game has, like... I guess you can, like, answer sassy or more aggressively or more relaxed. I didn't even think about it. I didn't realize those symbols. I kind of looked a little into it to kind of have somewhat of an idea. I've never played a video game in my life, so this is all very helpful to me. Polia. And I'm honestly not against, like, teaching the very basics because there's some games where they, their very basics are, like, known to people who've been playing the game for probably a good few months. So they don't explain half their stuff. There's like, oh yeah, this does this. Well, well how does that work? It, it, it just does. Accept it. I'm getting a little bit of jitteriness. That's expected. The game's not fully developed and optimized yet, so... But overall, it's, aside from a couple stutters here and there, it's pretty clean. I don't have a running stamina bar, doesn't look like. Oops. So in here. Hello, sir. Hello there, friend. Welcome to... Kilima. Kilima. Kilime, let's call it that, Kilime. I'm sure this is quite a lot to take in. I'm Ashura, the innkeeper at the Ormu's Horn. Fortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now. But we do have some old plots to the northeast where you can build yourself a tent. Oh, okay. What do you say? You want to take in the great outdoors? So, okay, so there it looks like they're element. Oh, okay. Fire type personalities are friendly, brave, and easily excited. Natural born leader. Earth type personalities are stubborn, practical, and honest. Often to a default. Oh, to a fault. Water type personalities are thoughtful, introspective, 
and emotionally sensitive, while, while intelligent, they often tend towards melancholy. I honestly see myself as more of a fiery type. The night sky has a beautiful... The night sky here is beautiful. I'm sure you'll love it. So let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need collect to collect some materials. Got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hadari. Hadari. About the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plot right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast. Sorry about that. Okay, you want to take the road to the hill northeast. Here, I've marked spot on your map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. Try not to work too hard out there. I'll try not to. Press delete to skip. Yeah, let's watch this. <laughs> oh, those are adorable. I want one as a pet. Hello, Mr. Strong. Vampire man? I usually work alone. Hmm. It's coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah. Adori Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm Fizzboy Pop. <laughs> you can tell me how you got those biceps. Airtight personalities are laid back and free spirited. They never take themselves or others too seriously. It's like I want to stick with the fire response, but I also kind of want to respond with that. <laughs> oh, uh, mostly for mining, I guess. Huh. Huh. If you're interested in working out, why don't you take up this pick? Take this pick. So you got an axe already. Always good to have the right tools for the right job. Use them both to clear the debris, would you? Mine's hungry. Mining's hungry work. So you better take this too. My daughter says I'll need to eat healthier. You'll get more use out of it. All right. Okay, so it's in. Press and hold the R. Okay, so that's the button I pressed a second ago. Okay. I got stone. So I'm definitely getting a little bit of a, uh... Stardew Valley vibe. From the whole cleaning up. Or, a uh, Harvest Moon. I never played Stardew Valley. I wanted to. I just need to get it. Out and more. More L. Magically appears in my pocket. Cool. Stone and flint. Oh, do I need to, uh, probably need to clear the specific things he wants. Alright, let's swap to the axe. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Still lots to do, but it's a start. I found this weird thing. Huh. Found a lot of strange things in the mines. I'm not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. It's your plot after all. I guess it's just been given to me. I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be space to drop the work table down now. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing, glowing tubes. Bye. Storage solution. Uh, yep. Select the workbench from the action bar using the numbers hotkey. Left click the placement mode. Rotate the station using Q and E. Okay. I always hate when they go Q and E instead of R. I'm just so used to immediately going to R for rotate. Action bar selection can be canceled by pressing X. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Oh, I didn't realize all that was in my inventory. 
eight. Oh, ah, a grid. Can I? I guess I can't take off the grid. Snapping. Eh. Let's do the usual. Bring you in the middle for now. Craft items. Wooden storage bin. I need more logs. Let's cut some more trees down. I don't think I ever actually did any real content combat stuff. Alright. Oh, I got... Yeah, plenty. Oh! I like that little animation. That's cool. Alright. I'll just set this beside you for now. Aw. Oh. Eh, good enough. Alright, so now I can drop... Okay, just right-click. What's this? Grilled mushroom. Ah, the food. Okay. Uh, craft a tent at the workbench. Place your tent. Makeshift tent. I've got that stuff. Oh, cool. So it actually grabs from the inventory, your chest. I love it when games do that. I've always hated having to, like, go grab the stuff out of my storage, put it in my inventory, go craft a thing, then redump the stuff back, and it's just like, just, just grab from the chest. It's right there. Holy mackerel! Okay. Let me, let me clear out a few more things real quick. That's not what I wanted. I think it was X. There we go. I remembered the instructions it told me. me forever. Got a tent. Talk to An Ani when he visits your plot. Oh. Hi, Ani. You look fun. What you up to? Missing a tooth. This is gonna be my best friend in the game now. Whew. Good. You haven't left yet. My mom, Delilah. Oh, I said that right. Told me there was another new human in town. And here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. We wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Fresh dairy from the Daya family farm. Welcome to Kilima. I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Ani, and my brain keeps turning off when I try to read. And I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day. Rain or shine. Six in the morning and six at night. I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. You like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. <laughs> I love getting mail, especially all the spam mail. Good, then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. Gotta catch some bugs now. Bye. Have fun. Sales bin. Oh, I can list stuff in here to sell? Coin purses, coin purse running flat, place items in sale bin, and they'll be sold soon. Oh, okay. I wonder, is it like an actual player market, or is it just like kind of a market to NPC? Ah, mailbox. And now, uh, dear Fizzboy Pop, I have been informed by Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy days of mist birthing to you, you human. Other humans call me Einar. And I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Ooh, I like fishing. Please take this rod into your possession and seek me out as your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. Cool. 
to whom it may concern. That's me. City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You'll find a bow and a set of arrows. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to, uh, wherever I am. Here's your weapon. Find a bow and set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in the their use. During work hours, you can find me in Killama Village. I know I'm saying this wrong. I really want to learn to pronounce it properly, because if it's really Killama, that's that's a wild, a wild name. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. All right, then. Recipe makeshift arrows. Okay. Oh, mark is red. And mark is red. You need any cool bug? So, how are you settling in? The plot is huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week. All I've ever seen to find are rocks. Does a weird glowing tube count? Oh. oh, wow, it definitely counts. Have you figured out what it does yet? Not yet. Huh? Oh, Ani. Oh, yeah, I'm already, like, my best friend now. Hmm, I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in the ruins. You should see if she found something like this before. Oh, oh yeah, I almost forgot. In all the excitement, I brought a present for you, too. Mm -hmm. A Bug Scout official belt and a set of smoke bombs. <laughs> a belt and some bombs. All right, this is definitely my favorite guy. I'm a member of Kilimo's best and only bug catching club. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should t talk to my dad, Badru, Bod Badru, to learn how to grow food, and Wreath, who works at the end, can teach you how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. <laughs> See ya. I thought we were gonna race. This freaking Thanos disappeared in front of me. Alright. So I'll probably come back and clean all this up later. Don't know if I need to care. Oh. Standard smoke bombs. <laughs> the standard ones. Oh. This is going to be an interesting game. Alright. Wait. Okay. Fishing rod, bow. What is this? Press and hold to start aiming. Oh, this, oh, it's the bombs. When an insect is hit by smoke bombs, it will attempt to break away. From what? The smoke? If they fail, they become dazed and can be picked up off the ground. Okay. Rare bugs have a higher chance to escape. Overwhelm them with additional catch attempts. You can keep trying as they flee. Increase your skills to unlock new types of smoke bombs and more powerful belts. And increase your chance to daze an insect. Okay, so bug catching. I thought it was joking when it said that, but that's kind of interesting. Ooh, a nice little pond. I'm liking this game already. Alright, so where am I heading next? No map available. Oh, that's right, I'm in my personal place. Welcome to Apollo. We're so happy to welcome you, Apollo. We started Singularity 6 in order to create new worlds. That deepens players' lives, and we hope Palia, li Palia lives up to that for you. As a new startup studio, we're so excited. You found your way to Palia. Can't live without players like you giving it a chance. If you like what we're trying to create and want to support Palia further, the biggest thing you could possibly do is simply tell friends and family about Palia. It would mean the world to us. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing now. Not only am I telling folks about it, I am also showcasing it. We really hope you enjoy exploring what Palia has to offer. Welcome home. One of the things I heard was that it does not plan on, I mean, it's a half and half. They don't plan on doing like any kind of crazy pay to win stuff. The most monetization is going to be through like outfits, but they are a, a wee bit on the pricey side. Like outfits would be around 10 to 12 bucks, I think. Where was I going? Yeah, you're over here. Wasn't there a guy that's supposed to be on the pier or something? 
Where's that where I'm going? Learn how to garden, how to cook. Okay, I guess I don't have anyone to learn to fish yet. So... Should I just try it myself? I'm gonna guess the bow and arrow is gonna be for like... Okay, I guess that's gonna be a fishing spot. Oh! Oh! We can't swim! Did I download the wrong version of GTA? By City. I'm sad. Hopefully that'll be added later. Alright. Try that. Maybe I shouldn't have backed up this far. I get the feeling I'm gonna want to actually do the tutorial for this. Okay, there's a tug. Tug. Another tug. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna wait for I get to the tutorial for that. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Just keep the mouse hovering over the fish as you reel. Alright, I might give that another try. Was that person wrong with the dog? <gasps> He's got a puppy! Or whatever that is. And he's got a cool outfit. I want one. Is there another body of water over here? Yeah, this way. Alright, let's try that fishing one more time. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, so that's the mouse. Okay, I see. That's what I was doing wrong last time. Haha! -ha. Perfect catch. New fish. I'm a pro already. Whoa. He crouched down to talk to me. It's because I'm so little. Oh, I did not see you there. Oh, hello. You seem to be another new person. Unless I have previously made your acquaintance, in which case, my apologies for forgetting you. I am often too distracted by my... On onesis. Take notice of such things as meeting new people. And there seem to be so many new people lately. No. Silly human, the onesis is merely the onesis. Thank you. Very informative. The onesis cannot be learned by listening to the sound of air as it moves through your face flaps. <laughs> it must be experienced. For me, that experience usually involves much fishing. You must have re Oh, okay, so this is the guy for the fishing. You must have received my communications regarding the beloved pastime of fishing. This will be my favorite robot. I understand it is customary for Utulag to require work that one does from home. I know there is a word for it, but I cannot quite recall what it is. Here, why don't you give that fishing rod you on your person a try? I shall be here in case you accidentally fall in. Good. Thanks, my dude. Bye. Is that not how humans close conversations? That is exactly how we close conversations. 
Catch a fish. Fish. All right. Oh, whoops. Wait, how is how is that a more open area than what I was just in? Strange game. One gilly fin. So what is I guess I'll get a cursor. I see a flashing purple symbol up above my name. I don't know what that means. I just barked. What is that? Oh a deer. Why did the deer bark? Salutations. I have crafted many adornments made from fishing implements. I find them quite aesthetically pleasing. But I do sometimes wonder if I am the only being who feels this way. What do you think of my adornments? They're very... you. I don't know, I like them. This pleases me. I shall remember you find my adornments charming. I caught a fish. Congratulations. I hope you were able to experience the same joy as I derived during such events. However, my time with humans taught me your kind it derives limited utility from living fish. Perhaps this is a more suitable reward for your efforts. I do hope you will choose to continue this wonderful activity in the future. Fishing 101 quest complete. In the meantime, if I find anything I believe will be of interest to you, I shall have it delivered to you via mail. Go and seek your oneness. I think I'm a little too robotic with this voice. Alright guys, this is going to be the first of many videos for this fascinating game, Polya. It's a bit of a slow start as I want to get to know the NPCs and the story of this strange world. So expect a lot of dialogue in the first couple or so of episodes. My attempted voice acting will eventually get a little better, but my pronunciation of a lot of words probably won't. If you want to watch me live, head on over to kick at kick slash fizzboypop. I stream every night. You can join my Discord to know when I go live and what I play. I hope I've earned a like and maybe a subscribe as well. Thanks for joining. Hope you all have a great day.